Hello, this is Kaylin Huntress, and today I'm going to show you how to register an ENS domain so you can get a name like this. KaylinHuntress.eth is a single use uh, Ethereum address where people can send me Ethereum and I think other cryptocurrencies as well. And I'm going to set this up now that the gas prices have finally gone down. So I'm going to show you a couple of things here. I'm going to put the links for this in the description of this video. I'm here on apps.ens.domains and I've been refreshing this page for days to see how much is it going to cost in gas fees in order to register this address. And wow, this is the, the lowest I've seen it in a little while. So I, I'm using this other website here, which I'm also linking in the description of this video, ethereumprice.org slash gas. And every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, the prices are just about to go down, but it refreshes your current hour. Right now it's 5.48 PM for me on a Monday. And this is from last week. The 56 gas fee is from last week. And so I've been chasing this all weekend, waiting for it to go down. And it finally has. Uh, some of the times I've been looking at this in other tabs, it's cost $273 for a $5 registration. Now, if you've spent any time in the crypto space, then you've probably already learned that the gas fees are just too high. If you get the pun that they're way too high because G way, way is how they do it. But you know, eventually we're gonna be high enough that we can get all the gas fees, right? So I'm gonna try this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get kaylinhuntress.eth. And I have this loaded in another tab. You can add on years to lower the amount. So instead of, so five to $10 and you only have to pay gas once. And so let's see how this works. I'm gonna to request to register this for $206. That's gonna be $10 for two years at this uh, of this registration. So this is gonna be my uh, address that people can send me crypto. And this is the gas fee, just the transaction. So I'm gonna to request to register. For some reason, this isn't going through. So I'm gonna try it again over here. Let's try. Kaylin Huntress, because everybody should have their own name. Kaylin Huntress is at 184, request to register. All right, favorite the name for easy access. I'll favorite it, request to register. Your wallet will open. Now my wallet, the one I'm using right now is MetaMask. Ah, I'm on the wrong network. This gets into really geeky things that I'm not gonna get into right now but I've got 0.02 Ethereum. So what I've got to do is I've got to withdraw from my spot balance. I don't have enough Ethereum, so I'm going to do a trade. You're going to watch me do everything I need to get over this. I've got three Solarium, Solana, and I'm going to trade this for Ethereum. I want to get, let's say 0.04. All right, I'll just do one. I'm going to do one whole Solana. That's going to be the cost of my Ethereum address is one whole Solana. And so I'm going to sell it a little below market. So I'm sure that it's going to go through right away. Boom. And that's been filled. Now I'm going to refresh my wallet over here in Binance, which is the exchange that I'm using. And I'm going to withdraw this Ethereum. Okay. So to withdraw this Ethereum, if you don't know how to do this, then just watch along. I'm going to copy the address in my smart wallet. What's neat about this smart wallet that I'm using called MetaMask is it's a browser extension. And if I, uh, unlike an exchange, I don't have to have a different address for each one of these coins. I just have one address for this account. I'm gonna enter this address here and do it on the Ethereum network for 30 bucks in gas fees. Ugh. I'm just gonna withdraw the whole thing. Let me double check and make sure this is on the Ethereum mainnet. Yes, it is. I'll go ahead and withdraw. Continue. And now I've got to do all of my verifications for email and for phone. And I'm going to put this on pause because I got to go get my phone. I'll be right back. Okay. So I got my phone and I need my phone because there's three things that I got to do here. I've got to put in the text message verification code 654. I've got to put in the authenticator code and I've got to do this in my email address. So because my email is a mess, I'm going to go ahead and fetch it over here. Boom. And bring it back. 
boom. I always do them in this order. I don't know if you find this is the, the same way I do. I find that the text and then the email, did I mess those up? I might have messed those up. And then the authenticator code. Because the authenticator code resets every 60 seconds. Let me put this in here. I think I might have swapped those. I did. I did. So I'm going to put this up here, put this over here, and put this down here. Let's see. Can he do it? And I did it before the authenticator code reset. Great. Okay. So now it's got to go through approval process. 30 bucks to do this, to transfer from Binance over to my smart wallet here. And then I've got to do more in order to, to reserve this name. Okay. So I'm going to request to register. Do I have to connect my wallet? I do. I'm going to connect a, a MetaMask wallet here. Great. I'm connected. It's up over 218. Why did it go up? Because gas fees fluctuate. Can't wait for some of these additional coins to come in here, save the day from these high gas fees, because this is just absurd. 183, yes, I like that, less than 200 bucks. I'm gonna request to register. Estimated gas fee of 21.29, just, just for this request, confirm. All right, so now I've requested to register. I have to wait for one minute. The waiting period is required to ensure that another person hasn't tried to register the same name and protect you after your request. You know, there's something interesting about this is if I go into another window here and I search for Kalen, somebody else, some stinker out there has this name. But there's something neat that the ENS, the Ethereum name service does where you can bid against it. So they can't lock it down like how donate domainers with DNS, they can squat over a website domain. But with ENS, there's some way, and I don't know what this is yet, but there's some way that I can bid on this in order to, I don't think you can snatch it back from them, but there's a way to, they have something worked in there to prevent people just dom, uh, just squatting on it, which I really like, I appreciate that. Hopefully, if ENS takes off, which if there were lower gas fees, it could possibly do, then it would be possible to have one cryptocurrency address. Hey, you want to send me some crypto? It's kalenhuntress.eth. That's my name. And I can use that for Polkadot or for Solana or Cardano or Bitcoin or any coin. This would solve a lot of the friction that happens in trying to get started with cryptocurrency. Because trying to figure out how to use this wallet and this account and this address and all this thing, it's so much friction. And the whole promise of, of cryptocurrency is that it's less friction. So now I've got this option here to click register to move to the third step. The wallet will reopen only after the second transaction will you know if you've got your name. My total is $150 with $139 for gas fee. That's lower than I have seen it yet. So if I get it for this low, low price of this exorbitant amount of gas, I'm going to be very excited. Transaction is pending. If this works, then soon you'll be able to send me crypto at myname.eth, which is the, the promise of cryptocurrency, right? Is that transactions are easy. Sometimes you have to wait. Because it's doing this on the blockchain. It's putting it everywhere, permanently, on thousands of networks or something, so that all these different computers can verify on a distributed ledger that this transaction is good forever and ever. Until then, it's transaction pending. So let me try searching for this on another tab. I'm going to search for Kaylin Huntress on another tab. It says it's available. What the heck? Can I bid on this from another tab? I can request to register. Jeez, what's going on here? Transaction still pending. So we're beyond that one minute now. Now we're just waiting. It says here, click register and your wallet will reopen. Only after the second transaction is confirmed. Well, you know if you got the name. Remind me, manage name, and set as primary ENF name, ENS name. So I'm going to click this blue button to set it as my 
primary ENS name. This designates one of your ENS names to represent your Ethereum account and act as your cross-platform Web3 username and profile. You can only have one primary ENS name per Ethereum account and can change it at any time. So I'm going to save it because now I've got this name and it's connected to my MetaMask account. Is that right? but I have to pay another $60 in gas. This is absurd. I'm really looking forward to the gas problem being done. Should I do this? Click here to add it to your address book. All right, I'm gonna tally up the costs of how much in dollars and Ethereum this cost me to register my name as an ENS. But now I've done it. Now I've got my own name, kaylinhuntress.eth. If you liked this video and you'd like to support the sorts of things that I do, then what you can do is you can pay an exorbitant gas fee and send some Ethereum to kaylinhuntress.eth because now it is open for business. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then go ahead and click on some buttons below, share it with some other people who are interested and uh, follow along because I'm going to be talking about crypto a lot more over the next few months. Good luck out there.